This is a case of an endologic uh, abdominal aortic aneurysm stent graft placement. Here we have a plastic model of an abdominal aortic aneurysm. These are the renal arteries. This is the aneurysm sac, and these are the iliac arteries. This is the location of the incisions in the groin. Here's a view from the inside of the model. Then on the ipsilateral side, a sheath is placed. Again, an internal view of, the, of what is seen on the outside. Then on the contralateral side, a sheath is placed and the snare is deployed. Here you can see the internal view of that. A wire is then placed on the ipsilateral side. The snare on the contralateral side grabs the wire and pulls it through the incision on the contralateral side. Here you see an external view of exactly the same thing. And here the wire is snared and then pulled out through the incision while giving slack on the ipsilateral side. Here you see the unibody bifurcated stent being inserted. You want to hear that click, then it is inserted into the lumen through the sheath, as seen here. You want to position it at the iliac bifurcation, where the stent will rest on the iliac bifurcation. Here you see the stent the main body of the stent being deployed. Again, similarly, this is the scene from the inside of the plastic model. The bifurcated unibody stent is positioned and then deployed. Here, the ipsilateral limb is deployed. This is a view from the outside. You want to make sure the sheath is pulled back to where the limb can be deployed completely. Here you see the sheath is being inserted and then now we're looking at the contralateral limb. That was the 035 hypotube which a 014 wire can be inserted through in order to maintain access on the contralateral side. Then the limb is deployed. The contralateral limb is deployed as seen in that video. And here's the unibody bifurcated stent graft in position. The, the proximal extension graft is now being placed. It's going through the sheath. It's going proximally uh, into the plastic model. This is where you will want to get an angiogram in order to delineate the renal arteries. Here's a view from the inside of the same. The proximal extension is being placed and positioned. Then in a controlled fashion, the um, graft is unsheathed. Here you see a view of that from the external viewpoint. The controlled deployment of the stent graft, the uncovered portion and one length is deployed. And then this is brought down below the renal arteries as seen here. Here's another view of that. You want to position it just to where the covered portion is below the renal arteries. The rest of the stent is then deployed. You want to make sure there's good overlap between the two stents. And here's the finished product where the aneurysm sac is excluded. Here's an internal view of the same. This ends the video.